A couple items we want to point out before you go into actually setting up your system. When we look at the back of the air separator, we see four things that we want you to know about. One is the power cord. We'll unbind that and we can eventually plug it into the wall when we're ready to go. The second is a shock meter. We ship these systems with a shock meter to assure that they're not damaged in shipping. Or if they have been damaged or dropped, we are able to tell that it's been dropped too hard. Uh, your shock meter should be both white on the top and bottom. If it's indicating uh, an orange color in either, either of those viewable fields, we know that the unit has been dropped. What we don't know is if it's going to affect the performance or not. But it is something we should take note of. If your shock meter has signaled that it's been dropped, go ahead and take a picture of it and send us an email. The next thing I want to point out on the back of the unit is our particulate filter. This filters our external room air of any large particulates before it goes into the unit. It's our first level of filtration. You also have our contact information on the back should you need it. And also on the top handle here, this is where your serial number on your air separator is located. It starts with a box that has SN and then the number following that is the number you use uh, if you have any trouble. These units come with a three-year warranty. So before we go through final installation of the air sep, attaching it to the adaptive contrast reservoir, there are a few things we want to point out on the front of the air separator. Each unit will come with a user's manual. This is helpful to read and goes through troubleshooting should you need it. Set that aside, hold on to it. At the bottom of the unit, you'll have your minus O2 source. This will plug into the bottom of the reservoir and we'll show you how easy that is in just a second. On this panel, we have a low oxygen indicator. It's a visual light. If it turns amber, it's an indication that we need to look at our system and make sure it's running optimally. Also on the front of the unit is the power switch. We have a current overprotector switch. This occasionally might need to be reset. It's designed to protect your unit. And we also have a digital, digital counter. This counts the hours that your unit's been run. Moving into the top of the air separator, we have our positive O2 source that we simply plug into the reservoir. And we also have our flow adjustment and our flow indicator. It measures in liters per minute. And our proper setting is going to be at 10 liters per minute. And we can adjust that by turning the knob at the top until the ball floats appropriately right at the 10 liter per minute mark. 